Amen. Don't hate, participate. Let me start off by saying that, you know, God loves to bless us. God loves to uh, shower down blessings on us, as the choir said. Sometimes he gives you blessings that are bigger than you can receive. Sometimes he gives you blessings you cannot measure. Sometimes he gives you blessings that are more than you ever could imagine in your life. Some, the Bible even says that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what, what the Lord has prepared. Sometimes God got stuff for you that you couldn't even imagine. And, uh, and, and some blessings are, are, are based simply on God's grace and God's mercy and God's kindness. We didn't earn it. We didn't deserve it. It, but then we are reminded in scripture that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And so some blessings are based on your obedience. God oftentimes rewards those that, that diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, all throughout scripture various folks were blessed or saw the miraculous happen in their lives choir based on their faith and their obedience to God and his plan for their life. The Bible says Enoch walk with God. Why? Because he, he was blessed by God. He, he walked with God. He, God blessed him because he was walking with him every, every step of the way. That means he, he stayed in step with God. God moved left. He moved left. God moved right. He moved right. God stopped. He stopped. God, the Bible said Enoch walked with God and because of that he was blessed. Uh, Noah and his family were saved because the scriptures talk about Noah being blameless and above reproach. Uh, uh, Abraham is blessed because he believed God. Joseph was blessed because because he was faithful in spite of his circumstance, in spite of betrayal, in spite of folk turning their back on Joseph, stayed true to God. Moses was blessed because he was humble and trusted God. The scriptures even declare Moses as the most humblest man that had walked the earth. Uh, Joshua was blessed because he believed God when the other 12 said it couldn't be done. Joseph said, surely we can take the land. And then finally, when all was said and done, the, those other guys weren't around and Joseph was was getting his inheritance. Uh, Rahab was saved uh, because God, she believed God. Uh, Gideon was victorious. Uh, he was the smallest in the smallest clan of the smallest tribe. But because he believed God, God declared him to be a mighty man of valor. Uh, Daniel was saved because he believed God. Uh, Mary believed God and was blessed, declared her as blessed and of highly favored. Uh, God always loves to bless his folk. Peter believed God and walked on water. So you beloved, there are some blessings that come when you believe God. God blesses us some more, most of the time just because of grace and mercy, but every now and then God puts us in a place where he's looking for us to trust him, step out on faith, and if we do, there's a blessing coming our way for being obedient. God will keep blessing us too, beloved, if we stay obedient. There is a blessing in obedience. I know folk want to disobey God, but I'm here to let you know there's a blessing in being obedient to God. I know what it's like to disobey God, and, and I found out where that'll get you, but I also know what it's like to obey God, amen, to trust God, to depend on God, to set God as your heart's desire, to seek him with all your heart, mind, and soul. There's a blessing. He said, you seek me with all your heart, mind, and soul. He'll make sure you got everything that you stand in need of. There's a blessing, amen, by following God. God loves to bless those who seek him, but guess what? Everyone doesn't get excited when God is blessing you. Everyone isn't thrilled that God is showering you with blessing. Everybody, look at Look at your name and say, everybody, everybody, everybody. E everyone is not jumping for joy and filled with happiness because you are being blessed. Uh, sometimes folks are mad. Sometimes folks are upset. Sometimes folks are genuinely disgusted that something good is going on in your life. People like favor when it's coming their way, but they don't always get excited when favor's coming your way. Uh, and we're going to have to deal with that on today. We got to deal with that green-eyed monster called envy. Uh, don't hate, participate. Uh, envy is defined as that emotion which occurs when a person may not have something that somebody else has and they desire it or wish for it, but they do it in such a way that it is dysfunctional. Aristotle defined envy as 
pain at the sight of another person's good fortune. Uh, Bertrand Russell said that envy was one of the most potent causes of unhappiness. And not only is the envious person rendered unhappy because somebody else is being blessed, they oftentimes resort to doing something violent or angry against the person that they are envious of. Uh, and we don't, envy has no room in the place of God, no room amongst the people of God. We cannot allow that. Envy, and the beloved, is mentioned more times than most sins in Scripture. I know folk like to talk about certain sins, this sin, but envy is a joker that can rise up in most of us. If we not careful, Rachel envied her sister Leah, and Leah, look, and listen, Leah, Leah was the, was the one that Scripture said, you know, you had to look at her squinting a little bit because she wasn't all that pretty, but but God blessed her, Amen. Anyway, and a good looking sister Rachel had the nerve to get jealous of her all her life. Leah was envious of Rachel, and then Rachel had the nerve to be envious of Leah. Uh, Saul was envious of David. Saul disobeyed God, and but then God had to raise up somebody else, you know, because God doesn't have to use you. He can use anybody else. And Saul was tall and handsome, heads and tails over everybody else, but he disobeyed God. And when he disobeyed God, God raised up somebody that had God's heart as his heart. And David was raised and becoming more popular than, than Saul. The, 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 the scriptures say they were saying Saul is slayed a thousands, but David is slayed ten thousand. Saul didn't like that. Uh, he didn't like the fact that, that somebody, this young whippersnapper, Snapper uh, was coming up, and uh, he got a little jealous about that. He even tried to hurt David. Man, it's terrible. David was blessing Saul, and then Saul was so envious, he's trying to hurt the person that's blessing him. Envy is a crazy thing. They, the Bible paints envy uh, as, and talks talk to us about its devastating effects. Proverbs 14 and 30 says, envy will rot your bones. It's like a cancer. James 14 and 6 remind us when envy is present, all sorts of evil emotions are present as well because envy has a tendency to bring along some other fellas. Uh, envy, beloved, is an issue of the heart. And Jesus tells us in, my, in Mark chapter 7, he reminds us that, that all the evil stuff doesn't come from the outside. But it comes from the inside. He said, Jesus said, deceit, lust, envy, slander, and pride all come from the inside and the evil heart. We got to deal with envy. Yeah. 